Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an origami water bomb. And obviously you start with a water bomb base. How you make it is you fold it in half both ways. Um, then you unfold and fold it in half diagonal both ways. So this is how you make it. You do this and this. And turn it over. This and this. And then squash fold the model just like this. And I'm currently recording this at um about 6.41 in the morning. I don't know if my bedroom clock is like a minute off or something. But um yeah, and I am ready for school. I have to leave it like seven o'clock. It's not, not 7 o'clock. I need to leave it like 7, like 50 or something. So we have plenty of time. Don't worry about me. And I would need to close my bedroom door. Okay, so my brother doesn't interrupt. And I'm going to be eating my yogurt. So I might not be talking as much. Shabani. It is the cherry. Okay, so first thing you do is you make the water bomb base, and then you fold only one layer up to this. Okay, I'm going to take a bite of my yogurt. Extra stuff. Okay. It will kind of look like a preliminary base. I think that's what it's called. That is used to make other stuff. So it will have the shape of a preliminary base with the thing down the middle, except it's not a line and it actually opens up. That has nothing to do with making it. Okay, so once it's like this, you can eyeball it or you can pinch crease the middle. I just eyeball it. But what we're going to do is we're going to take one layer and we're going to fold it into the center. Up, up and down and side to side. Side to side is like in this line. And up and down is like... I'm just making it more confusing for you guys, sorry. And then it should look like this when you're done. So, and make sure that the independent flaps are at the bottom facing toward you. And the next step to do is fold them upward until it goes against this thing right here. There goes my arm. One second. Sorry, I had that set, but then I decided to get up early to do this and the other stuff. So you do that, and then you do it on the other side. And then, once you're done, you can fold this up against this. Like this. You said this like 12 times. And you can unfold it. And then you see... That there is a little pocket right there. You want to put that in there. 
just like that. Now I could be able to do that. Well, I could always do that, but I could do it securely. Nothing else. Because this is locked into place. And then you do it on the other one. Just like this. Then you flip it over and you do the same thing. Fold it up. Fold it there. Open up the hole and fold it in. Doesn't have to be perfectly in there. Mine's just a little out. So yeah. Just like this. One second, I'm going to take another bite of my yogurt. Okay. Once you're done, the next thing you do, it doesn't matter which side is up, you're going to fold the top down, and you're going to unfold it, and fold it up. like that. And then you do it on the other side. Sorry about it not being in the camera. Just like this. And once you're done, you make it 3D. Hold it in between your fingers. And whichever side has the hole, this side as the hole. It's very small. But I think I got yogurt on my elbow. So you blow into the tiny hole. Is that the hole? No, that's not the hole. But this is. So once you blow into it, it should be a square. And it's called a water bomb. It's not called a water bomb for nothing. You can actually fill it up with water it will get soggy and you can't use it again but you can throw it up and it will splat on the ground it will look cool or you can throw it at your friend which i personally like doing better and yes i have thrown it at my friend before And yeah, it looks like this. It is also called other things like balloons, but I guess if you were filled them with helium. But yeah, and if you can make them really square, you can make a bunch of them and like hang them around. I guess you could do a decoration. So yeah, that'll be all for today. Bye.